And if anyone would listen, every collier lass would tell how she's stuck inside a cage while he goes down in his to hell. And if I were a linnet, I would fly away from sorrow. I'd leave behind this world so full of care. I'd reach beyond the pities and I'd show me bairns tomorrow. Let them saw and tell them that it's theirs. The passing years are measured out in tiny victories. A baby smile, big meeting day, large banners in the breeze. A canny line of washing, making sizzling in the pan. But if I had me time again, I'd be born a man. Born, this is my song, uh, Old Friday Jolly. I was born in Newcastle. Um, so. I'm a bona fide Johnny, I was born in the tomb. My father celebrated with a create a new bloom. My mother was ecstatic, my granddad got palatic. We lived on Scotswood Road in a little garret traffic. They meant to share the outside netty, but still had that pride. They were out from Tyneside. When I was four months old, and solid food I'd take, it wasn't Farley's rusks, but milk soup, study cake. <laughs> Big granny make a pan of broth by boiling our sheep's feed. She died at 97 of mad moving disease. When I was a bit older, I drank tizer and juice soda. We'd sit pan of work at chips or a canny bag of chuda. Crisps manufactured on the coast road in the driven mayo or fried. I was raised on. Time side. My father had an allergy. It kept him short of cash. When confronted with employment, he was great in a rush. <laughs> the first game I remember, it was hide and seek. We played it with the red man on the Friday every week. Me mother was a clippy on the yellow trolley bus. She was a lippy clippy, but she never bothered us. Up and down the west road on that trolley bus would ride. I was raised on time side. Was educated at me secondary school. Second grade and second best, the teachers they were cruel. By using corporal punishment, they kept us in control. Taught us how to write me name and sign on to the duel. But I was good at writing sick notes, they never knew I'd skived. I was raised on time side. My family were religious. They took a Greek to heart. They worshipped on a Saturday at St. James's Park. <laughs> I was stood there in the visas, in me bower boots and braces, chanting up the tune and singing blatant graces. And when Sunderland won the cup, we all contemplated suicide. <laughs> I was raised on time side. From Medellas, from Gosford, whole family of our class. They kept our cools inside a cool house instead of in a bath. They <laughs> wore expensive perfume made in London or in Paris. At the bingo should not shout out house but in the Victorian terrace. <laughs> then she left us for a lad in work and our broken and cried. I was for leaving. Then inside. My father said, get over it and get yourself no soup. The weather's warm, there's plenty of jobs, I'm telling you the truth. I got a bus from Gallagher, feeling like a fool. It took us all the way down south to a place called Harlepool. <laughs> Where the natives talk peculiar, I was in a body plight. The weather was no warmer and the football team was shite. <laughs> I stuck it for a fortnight, just to show I tried. Then I came back to 
Time side. You know, contemporary time side. There's been a lot of change. There's posh restaurants on the quayside in culture of the sage. On match day in the tomb, it's nothing like as rowdy. We're sat there on our horses in the clubs owned by the Saudi. <laughs> no one thing never changes, and that's what Johnny pride, cause we were raised on time side. The next song that uh, we're going to sing together is a song that was written, well, it was a poem that was written by my, my great grandfather, Bob Deacon, who was a, he started at South Millamsby Pit uh, when he was 10 years old in 1886, which was the year of the famous or infamous strike celebrated in a Tom Armstrong song. Um, and he wrote this. And I uh, put it to a tune, and Adam and I are going to sing it together, and it's called Enough in the Little Despair. I came home from the colony not so very long ago. That morning they had told me that for work I was too slow. I shook my head. And then I said, it really is too bad to turn me from the colliery where I started as a lad. And reaching home, went to me with the painful news I told. I said, me lass, I'll have the sack because I'm growing old. I replied, why never mind? Of that thou need not care, for if thou never walk again, I'm sure thou's done thy share. Don't be so downhearted, lad, for troubles come and go. You've worked like a slave till you've one foot in the grave. It's time to rest, I'm sure. Just to think those worked for fifty years, no one year troubles to share. It makes me heart glad to tell your old lad, we've enough and a little to spare. I gazed at all in wonder, and I hope and said you didn't mean to tell me that you've saved since we were aware. Until we really needed it, I found I wouldn't tell. But don't be so surprised, old lad, those earned it all they sell. With trembling lips, I said to all, God bless thee, who earned But for they would I have to come and beg from door to door. I said, never mind. Old lad, for that thou need not care, for if thou never work again, we've enough and a little to spare. Enjoying the fun 
with proving and fending and borrowing and lending, I'd stay your woman, what all the brown mean. Up spoke Mistress Rutter, it's just this our butter. There's a row every day when it has to be cleaned. Oh, oh what, what, what do we care about Afghans so soon? Cushions, oh, cushions, come here if they die. We've roots and we've bosoms, we'll say the mere the petticoat regiments, the boys for the war. There's young Maggie Robson to our Nanny Dobson. I'll lend you some butter a fortnight the day. Then ye got a shilling, ye drunk and our villain. You promised to come and pay back at the pay. Faith ye and the butter, yes, shilling and butter. Said our Nanny Dobson can gang to the two. For your clays and jimmies, your bedrooms and shimmies. It's all up the spoon and they'll never come to <laughs> Oh, what do we care about half and so soon? Let Russians and Russians come here if they come. With your own and 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 your own Young Jamie Dixon and Margaret Jane Nixon both seized upon Maggie for striking that down. Our mistress Stalker come out with a poker as soon as she saw there was two upon Meg. Being in such a splutter, she fell in the gutter and happened to break the small bone of her leg. Oh, what do we care about Afghans so soon? Said Russians, all oh, Russians, come here if they die. to take them to jail, but then everyone seized him, by gum out he squeezed him, he often they couldn't lay salt to his tail. Oh, what, what do we care about Afghans so soon? Let Russians or Prussians come here if they die. With rooms and with bosoms, we'll stay the bedrooms. The petty old regiments, the boys for the war. Because she had called her a dirty nickname, then everyone at it, they fitted and batted, till not one amongst them was fit to walk here. <laughs> they sent for the doctor, his <laughs> name was John Proctor, and then for the policies, Jackson and Jones. Then they wrote a letter to Howard and Setter, and it took them three weeks for to set all the bones. Oh, oh, what do we care about Afghans so soon? Said Russians, oh, Russians, come here if they die. With rooms and with bosoms, with sail and big dozens. The petty old regiments, the boys for the war.
Put your money in the top and the light comes on below. And you press for tea, but cocoa comes. You know how these things go. And the tea, the milk comes out in sachets that you can't get in, you know how. And it tastes of burning plastic, and it's never seen a cow. And gorillas pack the sugar in the factory fine and grand. And it's guaranteed hygienic and don't touch by human hand. <laughs> so do not use this cafe, join the picket line with me, and then they'll have to find some robot who will bring their book into <laughs> song I wrote as a team of us in Cheshire, which is a very cow-dense area, uh, the Dewey's show, and uh, we had a bit of a social night, and I wrote this song as a laugh, and it, it went down very well, but it, it kind of set me off on a bit of a journey, because I, I got the, the performing book. Um, so this is my song, the AI Man song. And I describe it as contemporary folk with the George Formby influence. <laughs> I go in seminating to earn an honest bob or a highly skilled technician. It's an interesting job. I'm a genius AI man. Me semen stored in frozen cans. I ride around in a silver van. When I'm inseminating, <laughs> I get lots of cow sex. I never want to stop. I've tried various positions, but I don't like them on top. <laughs> of Steinfriesians, I have pleased. I've had most of the other breeds. I've done a Dexter on me knees. When I'm inseminating, a cow's not like a woman. She'll not nag or give you strife. She'll let you up it every three weeks, that's more often than the wife. <laughs> she does it out of lust, not love, I'll swear it by the Lord above. I'm happiest with me hand in glove. <laughs> I'm <laughs> inseminating. <laughs> now, if you want exotic semen, you only have to ask. I've got it here in on from Nom, somewhere in me flask. Red or white, black or blue. Humpback Zebu, I can do. I collect it fresh from Chester Zoo. <laughs> if you're after natural service, no, some like natural service, that's the bull. But it wouldn't do for me. I've got nothing in me trousers. The time fertility go artificial. Take my tip. I've not got AIDS or syphilis. My rod is always nice and stiff when I'm in seven eight. <laughs> now, holes it can be dangerous and bad tempered, they will get. I've sometimes ran with farmers, but I've never killed one yet. So, if your cows in season, then ring the genus AI men. Please all calls in by half past ten. <laughs> when we're in seven eight.
But I've got my country music as I ride along the road. And the tires of my 12-wheeler hum a prayer. And they say the good Lord always has a reason for the things he does and good folks don't ask why. And if I meet an angel as I ride along the road, with a rear. She never did take good care when she was born. And the angels kicked her twice just to see she was sincere. Then they led her hand in hand towards the Lord. And they say the good Lord always has a reason for the things he does as good Lord don't ask why. But if I meet an angel But his bike slipped on some hogwash and he skidded half a mile and he burned a path right through them pearly gates. And they say the Lord always has a reason for the things he does and good folks don't ask why. But if I meet an angel as I ride along the road, I will ask some why. She put her horse out for some grass. When a mad dog came and bit it, so folks say, and the horse contracted rabies, and it bit her in the aft. <laughs> and the angels hauled her in, just like the stray. <laughs> and they say, Geography, cause the teacher is a football fan, and this is what he's taught to me. Blades are forged in Sheffield from the finest steel, hats are made in Stockport with silk from Macclesfield, boots cobbled in Northampton. I need to write this down. Crew Alex are oh, the railway men, cause crews are railway town. Gunners of the arsenal, where weapons were deployed. Hip switches in Suffolk, that's why they're the tractor boys. Stoke City, it is famous, it's where Stanley Matthews played. But also for the potteries and Staffordshire clay. Grimsby are the mariners, they trawl the cold North Sea. 
Sugar came from Liverpool docks, makes Everton toffee. If you want to go out shrimping, South End and Morecambe's best. And ships are built in Sunderland, cause they've got one on the crest. Half the pools near Darlington, York, Doncaster the same. I know this cause on Boxing Day they play a derby game. Wolverhampton's close to Birmingham, I'm telling you by Jove. Leicester's near to Nottingham, and Brighton's next to Hove. Motherwell, Dunfermline, Cowden, Beef, Strand, Ra. All our towns in Scotland, as our breaking hand for far. Aberdeen and Arbroath, Dundee and Stenhouse Muir. But my Berwick's in the Scottish League, I'm really not too sure. <laughs> now in this post-industrial age, everything has changed. The cotton mills are silent, no collieries remain. We've got HR, we've got PR in offices galore. But as for manufacturing, we don't do that no more. Our towns, they are ubiquitous, everyone the same, with the Ralbys and McDonald's and Starbucks coffee chain. Our kids are flipping burgers instead of smelting steel, or driving round in Uber cabs on zero hours contract deals. Footballers once were local, in terraced houses they reside. Most of the Lisbon Lions born a stone's throw from the Clyde. These days it's very different, I'm telling you it's true. We've just signed a new defender, and he comes from Timbuktu. <laughs> Our team practices on AstroTurf, imported all the way from China. Our head coach is Brazilian and not a Durham minor. Spurts shirt sponsored by a betting firm. I don't think it's very funny. The right to separate the working man from all his hard earned money. When I watched from crowded terraces, me dad would lift his up. We bought peanuts for a tanner. Share a bottle from a cup. Now it's comfy seats and posh nosh and fine Italian wine. But they'll never feel the roca raw that tingle down your spine. Top clubs are owned by billionaires from the far and middle east. With massive squads of pampered stars rotated every week. We're globalised, we watch on sky. For local loyalty never worry. Man United's core support comes from Singapore and sorry. Steely blue eye. I've lost the words. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, he went out the other night. He tried to suck the big club dry. Had a hell of a fight with his little bitty wife, and she blacked the gift fuel's eye. But he was a laugh in the colliery bus with all them big fat asses. There's Nucky Knees and Hammer Toes, and the bits what please the lasses. Now, if you want the truth, Div and bet your boots when you're talking to our Joss Bell. He can spin more tales and tell more leaves than any tongue can tell. He reckons that he shoot for years and years in every pit in Durham. And when you add the years of one by one, when the bubbles are more than seven. He had a laugh in the colliery bus with all them big fat asses. There's Nappy Lees and Hammer Toes and the Bits what please the lasses. Them stinking caves, many a widow's made, and many a them left homeless. Mind they didn't, didn't laugh when they're in the bath, when there's blood among the gold dust. Men of courage, they don't laugh, let no man dare to say. Have you seen them banners draped in black on Durham Big Meeting Day? But he was a laugh in the colliery bus with all them big fat asses. There's Nappy Lees and Amber Toes and the big swat keys, the lasses. Men were desperados, 
but still I had the pride. And to a man they crossed the picket line and took the miner's side. So come join the union, each of us fall. We and the sun together fall, divided we shall fall. Now the atmosphere was altered on that dark December day. The frowns all turned to smiles, the mood was bright and gay. And off the march down Front Street, together hand in hand, singing this great union hymn, our company by the band, they sang, Come join the union, heed your brother's call, we united stand together, for we like and we shall fall. Cartney or Cohen. The one I'd like to thank 
He's not scouse, he's not yank. He's much closer to home. Have you heard of the man in the stretcher? <laughs> the one that hails from the weir. He gets a boot, he's in and he's good. But tonight I'll thank the Lord that he's here. He sings about Romans on Tyneside, about the men that work the coal seam. His knowledge is great, and he graduate to join the ex Pittman's court hall and quiz team. You can't pigeonhole this man's talent. It won't fit neat in a box, cause didn't you know it? He's a Pittman poet, along with Mitchell and Graham and Fox. <laughs> he tells the tale of the last of the widows, sings a book the hoppins on the town wall, and he might have a bitch about them that are rich, but he always sticks up for the poor. He'll talk to your dirty and jolly <laughs> about fudges and pasties and pies. His songs have got legs, he's sponsored by Greg's. <laughs> he sings about a monkey that was hung as a spy. He'll turn up with the bad pennies, never makes much of a fuss. He writes about curly crooms, he plays lots of great tunes. He sings about a man that got on the wrong bus. <laughs> now I've come to the end of me homage. I'm glad I've written it all down. I've embarrassed you, kid. I'm sorry I did. Why, well, I've even pinched your original tune. <laughs> I've even pinched your original Just call me pretty your pet. 
talk of walls and of shields. I'll kick out the knee creels. It makes us break out in a sweat. Talk to me, dirty in Johnny. I just need a good northern man. And to me, all Johnny's are like rock stars. From the Beats to the rock stars. You can be sting. And I'll be rock <laughs> I took refuge in a free West End theatre. Romeo and Juliet up there in the dark. The actors were all gunning crackers, fighting like mackers and tackers at Darby Day at St. James's Park. Ain't a fool, I'd not switch me phone off. It ran blatant races as clear as can be. It made one hell of a noise, and as they last took our poison, Romeo looked down at me. He said, Talk to me, dirty and joy. It makes Shakespeare sound like a note. Just let me squirm with your lantern worm, or a quick. And around the back on me. Talk to me, dirty and dirty. Like sex, to say it's good for the soul. I said, I'm glad you think I've got what it takes. But where I come from, sex, why that your big bags were filled up with food. <laughs> and it's good to be back on home ground now. Though I have to say so much has changed. But if you talk Jody slang, folk think that you rang in the heat and look at you strange. But technology can't be denied now. I sat in my chair and I sighed. I said, Alexa, it's me. Turn on the TV. And Alexa Come on, 
born again, yeah. I'm in the cage with me, my razors, it ascends. Here I come, my dear born again, yeah. I need to let the pigeons root the cream <laughs> by half past ten. Here I come, my dear born again, yeah. I need to be doing the club for the meat tree drag. Here I come, my dear born again, yeah. Oh, I've been here I come, man, a whole again, yeah. I've got six pairs of wellies in me, how I suck. Here I come, man, a whole again, yeah. And say, baby, stands for not coming back. Here I come, man, a whole again, yeah.
called the land of plenty. If I had a dollar to my name, only a dollar to my name, I'd be a rich man all the same. When I get to the land of plenty, fell in love with a sailor's daughter. Only a sailor's daughter, hand in hand, and over the water. When I get to the
think I was clenching my own bush when he was giving us that information. <laughs> so, uh, I wanted to write a song, and it was going to be about, um, like, iron stone mining, which was a, a very dangerous, uh, sorry, piece of work. Uh, and I wanted to write it from the wife's point of view, so that's what this is. Uh, and it's about that thing where, like, our dad used to work shifts. And even when he retired, he still woke up in time for his shifts, like 3 to 11, 11 to 7, 7 to 3. We knew them off by heart. Uh, and this lad, uh, oh, by the way, I must apologise, it's quite a happy song. <laughs> I know, I know, that's okay, I'm off. Okay. You're a knocker upper, you're a lamp lighter, you're my man and you're safe. <laughs> You've been too long underground to lose your old ways. Can't believe we survive as a catch at your gaze. But a sigh and a smile for the rest of our days. I'll sigh and a smile. You're a knocker up a yoga.